and also happening during the president's visit. Many voices were heard on Sunday as migrants are speaking out on their desire to come to the U.S. legally amid a broken immigration system. Our Austin correspondent Monica Manon has more. Here at Sacred Heart downtown, there are hundreds of migrants who have been camping outside and it's a scene that has really cooled down since December when we saw that surge of migrants crossing the border. But still, both locals and migrants here say they want the president to see what's going on on the ground. Touching down in El Paso, President Joe Biden greeted by local officials before touring a migrant processing center and the wall in his first trip to the border as president. Very well overdue. Some locals hesitantly welcoming the commander in chief. I hope he sees the issues we're having here in the border. Let him meet the people that are here. Let him hear their stories. Not on the president's agenda. Touring migrant camps. It's where we find Venezuelan migrants like John. We just need to help. He admits he crossed illegally, but says his family would not survive if he stayed and he wants to stay here the legal way. We just need an opportunity. His story paralleled by so many others like Maria, who says it was a months long dangerous journey amid the crowd of migrants, a symbol of hope and freedom, although their journey is far from over. Even though the president is not coming here as part of his stop, we've heard some debate on whether or not the city has been cleaning this up for him to come here. Now, local police I talked to said that they try to do that routinely. You can see a lot of these personal items still here, but then others I talked to said they definitely noticed an increase in the cleaning up efforts since the president arrived in El Paso. Monica Madden, back to you.